Once again, the Paris 2024 Olympics are in the spotlight, but this time our focus shifts to pivotal figures behind the scenes who seamlessly connect cyclists with their bikes and vans with transportation. The mechanical engineers, With an eye for innovation and a knack for blending style and function, mechanical engineers are crafting the very fabric of Olympic excellence in many spectacular ways. Starting with two engineering's X23 track bike. Track cycling is riding a fixed gear bicycle counterclockwise on an oval shaped track with banked corners called a velodrome. These sleek bikes are made to cut through the air like a knife, but they also face one major challenge, the cyclist sitting on top. No matter how streamlined a racing bike is, the cyclist always introduces air resistance, coupled with their shape and size. Enter X23 Toot Engineering's 3D printed bike. Thanks to the adaptive design and the Digital Twins cyclist simulation systems with 3D modeling and scanning techniques, the design team at Toot Engineering was able to create a bike tailor made for the cyclist. Like the X23's super narrow steel handlebars, these handlebars, after numerous iterations, are 25% lighter and perfectly fit the cyclist's posture, grip, and weight. Not to mention the bike's frame is constructed using aerospace grade aluminum for its high strength to weight ratio. And because 3D printing is more cost effective than traditional technologies, mechanical engineers are able to print repeatedly, fine tuning the shape by millimeters and measuring vibrations and deformations with each round. And after the X23 debuted at the UCI Track World Championship last August, 16 of its parts have been approved for the Paris Olympics. And innovation isn't just about performance and functionality, it can also be about the convenience of riding in style. No fewer than 15.3 million visitors are expected to attend the Paris 2024 Olympics, making transportation a nightmare. We'll move over, Metro System. The new beauty in town is the eye-catching Velocity Electric Aircraft. The Velocity has 18 small fixed-pitched propellers, 18 electric motors, and is powered by lithium-ion battery packs. Flight control is made by varying the speed of each of the 18 propellers independently. The Velocity was created by engineers at German startup Volocopter, and last year they announced their plans to hopefully carry passengers in their electric air taxi at the 2024 Paris Olympics. We will start with five aircraft. We will fly every vehicle two flights per hour, times five, so it brings us um, to around 80 to 100 flights a day. However, that's not as many passengers as it may sound like because the Velocity can only carry one passenger at a time, plus their luggage, at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour for a 22 mile distance. After waiting some time for certification to fly their Velocity electric air taxi, a recent ordinance published in France's official Gazette came through just in the nick of time, granting Volocopter exclusive permission to soar the Velocity during the Summer Olympics in Paris. This monumental approval paved the way for the German aviation pioneer to launch from a newly established heliport in Paris, nestled on the banks of the Seine River. Since Velocity is a single occupancy vehicle, ticket prices could potentially be high, but one day with a larger air taxi, Volocopter hopes ticket prices will cost three to four euros per passenger per kilometer. While the Velocity may not be solving transportation problems at the 2024 Summer Olympics, some Sometimes baby steps equal huge technological leaps forward. So from 3D printing to electric powered taxis in the sky, mechanical engineers never settle for what's in vogue because it's their mission to always push the frontiers of design and innovation to astonishing new heights. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.